that the scientific method officially, as it goes, starts with an observation, right? So you observe, maybe it's just the cycle time. Then you ask a question. Can we make it run faster? Can we get the parts catcher to catch all of the parts rather than every other part? It's any form of hypothesis, right? So, well, maybe we can increase the, uh, the chip load. Maybe if we slow down the spindle at cutoff a little bit just before it drops. So there's your hypothesis. And then you have to have an experiment, right? So you have to try it. And um, when you go to try it, you're going to change one variable, typically, sometimes more than one, but you know the pure scientific method would be you just change one thing at a time, right? And then you have the other variable that you're measuring. So it might be cycle time, or it might be a number of parts that end up in the conveyor rather than the parts catcher, right? So you do that experiment and you see how it goes and you analyze the results. And you form a conclusion. Was it better? Was it worse? Are there other negative impacts? That right there just boils down real quick into what the scientific method really is.